What's up everybody, Beastly Gamer here and I'm bringing you guys some really bad news today. Today is July 12, 2015 and Nintendo Chief Satoru Iwata has died today. This is really bad news, really down for anyone who's an old head like me, a Nintendo fan. This guy's been around since I was a baby working at Nintendo and I want to give you guys the details of this now. I'll drop a link in the description. It's a sad, sad day in the video game world. Nintendo reports that President Satoru Iwata has died at age 55 due to a bile duct tumor. The executive had been forced to skip E3 2014 due to health issues and had surgery to remove a growth later that year, but it's unfortunately clear that it wasn't enough to help him recover. The company isn't saying much about secession at this point, but it looks like Geo Takeda and company legend Shigeru Miyamoto are taking the reins for now. Iwata had a profound effect at Nintendo, even, the init- even in the initial stages of his career. He came to the company in 1983 and helped create some of the developers' legendary titles such as Earthbound and the early Kirby series. He took charge of the firm's corporate planning in 2000 and in 2002 became the first person to lead Nintendo that wasn't part of the founding Yama- Yamachi family. His track record as the head of the firm is mixed but memorable. He presided over most of the GameCube's less than stellar history and of course the struggling Wii U. However, he also led the company through the Wii's glory days, ushering in the era of motion control gaming. Also, he helped cement Nintendo's dominance in dedicated handhelds throughout the DS and 3DS. And while Nintendo was reluctant to compete directly with the likes of Microsoft and Sony, the company was gradually adapting to the reality of a smartphone-dominated world with the plans to develop mobile games. It's also important to note Iwata's personal touch. For many, he was literally the face of the company. If you've seen a Nintendo Direct event, the odds are you saw him introduce the latest games in his polite, friendly style. While there will certainly be others taking Iwata's place, There's no doubt that Nintendo will feel poor without him talking about the latest Mario or Zelda news. We miss you, Iwata. This is really sad news. Uh, Iwata has been there since I was three years old, and uh, he has been the face of Nintendo through the good and the bad. We were just talking about Nintendo today on the Beastly Thoughts show. This is terrible news. Um, And to his family, for myself, and I know from you guys, deepest condolences. Thank you so much for all the dedication and the hard work you put in. I want to read you guys a quote that Iwata actually wrote before he passed on. Quote, On my business card, I am a corporate president. In my mind, I am a game developer. But in my heart, I am a gamer. This man was born in 1959. He passed away today. Rest in peace, Mr. Iwata. Nothing but love for me, for my family, and for the rest of Nintendo fans in the world. And I hope and pray that Nintendo does you proud with whoever sits in that seat after you. You guys, be sure to comment in the comments below. Let me know what was your greatest Nintendo moment. What was your greatest Nintendo console? And let me know if Nintendo has actually touched you in your life. I'm the Beastly Gamer. I'll see you guys next time.